click the bell icon to get latest videos from ekida hello friends i welcome you all to this video we are with the 10th chapter of microwave engineering where the transmission of microwave signal with the help of strip lines and micro strip lines we are addressing so far so the comparison and how the essentially the modification from the strip lines to micro strip lines we have has been reported into the very first video of this particular chapter next to that we have solved two of the problems based on to the strip line concept now let us have the problem number 1 for micro strip line so here we have a problem statement design a micro strip line on a 0.5 mm alumina substrate so for alumina substrate the relative dielectric constant value epsilon r is equal to 9.9 whereas the loss tangent represented as tan del is given with the value 0.001 now this is for a 50 ohm characteristic impedance find the length of this transmission line required to produce a phase delay of 270 degrees at 10 gigahertz and compute the total loss on this transmission line assuming the copper conductor shear so this is the problem statement as per the problem statement we are required to design a micro strip line so when we talk about designing of a micro strip line first of all the structure corresponding to the micro strip line should be at the site so for the micro strip line we have a top semiconductor strip here which is having a dielectric material below it that separates the another conductive material which is grounded here so we have the central conductor with a positive potential level whereas this one is grounded with zero potential we can see here now this is the dielectric material here so we are asked to have designing on to the alumina substrate the dimension is provided that it is 0.5 mm here epsilon r is equal to 9.9 and the loss tangent is 0.001 and the characteristic impedance that is required to make matching here so for the transmission line it is 50 ohms here now what is required what is to be calculated as per the problem statement that length of this transmission line so that it can produce a phase delay of 270 degrees so the length is to be calculated so this is the first part we can say and it is provided that the frequency of operation is of 10 gigahertz so 10 into 10 raised to power 9 hertz it is we are also required to make computation for the total loss so this is the second half of the problem statement we can say so the total loss on the transmission line that has been designed in this fashion is to be calculated with the assumptions of copper conductor this time here so let us begin to solve first of all for the length of the transmission line with the given previous details and then for the total loss so now the very first task here will be to find w by d ratio here so as we know that w by d this corresponds to the dimension of the micro strip line here very first of all for the strip conductor that is at the top we have the width denoted by capital w here whereas the d is the separation or the height of the micro strip line you can say so which is for the dielectric material separating the ground plane from that of the strip conductor so w by d for few of the problems related to the formula for the conditions that it is greater than or equal to 2 or it is greater than or equal to 1 here so now w by d is to be first of all imagine is to be first of all determined here provided the value of z0 is equal to 50 ohms so along with the value of characteristic impedance we are also 
provided with the value of dielectric constant at the relative values. So whenever we have the dielectric constant and the characteristic impedance given, so that time the formula for W by D can be used as such. We have W by D is equal to 8 into E to the power capital A divided by E to the power twice capital A minus 2 here. Whereas the condition to have this value for W by D ratio is we have W by D to be less than 2 here. Now when we have W by D that is greater than 2 we have the value that it is 2 divided by in multiplication to the square bracket that has capital B minus 1 minus ln of twice capital B minus 1 added with we have epsilon R minus 1 divided by twice epsilon R in multiplication to the curly bracket that has ln of B minus 1 added to 0 0.39 minus 0 0.61 divided by epsilon r here. The condition is w by d is greater than 2 here. So in this equation there it is a mention of capital A for the first condition whereas capital B in the second condition here. So here we have capital A given to be substituted for the first representation. Capital A is computed with the use of characteristic impedance head 0 divided by 60 in multiplication to the square root that has epsilon r plus 1 divided by 2 which is further added to epsilon r minus 1 divided by epsilon r plus 1 in multiplication to the bracket that has 0 0.23 added to 0 0.11 divided by epsilon r here. Whereas capital B to represent into the second value is 377 times pi divided by twice of the characteristic impedance Z0 into square root of the relative dielectric constant epsilon r here. So here we shall be using this formulation to get the calculation for W by D. So here getting the first condition to be assumed here that W by D is less than that of the two value, it results into the computation of capital A is equal to 2.142 here. So when the value of capital A is equal to 2.142, it results to the value of W by D is equal to 0 0.9654 here. So when we have W from this equation is equal to 0 0.9654 times small d here by the substitution of D it results into W is equal to 0 0.483 in terms of millimeters as the value of D is provided. Now next to that we need to make calculation for the effective value of the dielectric constant. So the effective value of dielectric constant is given by the formula. We have epsilon suffix E is equal to the first term is epsilon R plus 1 divided by 2 which is added to epsilon R minus 1 divided by 2 in multiplication to 1 divided by square root of 1 plus 12 times we have d divided by w. So if you observe the right hand side of the equation epsilon r is readily available whereas w by d can be substituted as inverse to this particular place here. So this computation by substitution of epsilon r and w by d results the value of effective dielectric constant epsilon suffix e it is equal to we obtain 6.665 here. 
so by using this particular value we can further make calculations for the length of the transmission line now as per the problem statement we need to have the value of length of this transmission line required to produce a phase delay of 270 degrees operating at 10 gigahertz of microwave signal here so therefore we write the phase value phi is equal to 270 degrees which is nothing but the multiplication of phase shift constant into the length of the line so beta into l it is which can further be expressed as square root of epsilon r into the wave number that it is capital k suffix zero here in multiplication to the length here whereas k zero can be computed as omega that it is 2 pi into f divided by c here so f value is 10 gigahertz c value is the constant 3 into 10 raised to power 8 meter per second so substituting these two values and the constant pi in multiplication to 2 we obtain k0 is equal to 209.4 which is per meter value hence i put the unit meter inverse here so therefore the formulation for length of the transmission line can be given as such 270 degrees of phase shift in multiplication to pi divided by 180 degrees which is having a division by square root of epsilon e here the effective case we can write here so effective here it is we have calculated before in multiplication to k0 that just now we have the value here so upon substitution of the effective value of the dielectric constant and that of the k0 the length of the transmission line in this particular case results into the value 8.72 into 10 raised to the power minus 3 in terms of meters it should be so it can be l is equal to 8.72 millimeters here so i just outline the value so as per the problem statement we were required to determine the two values that it is length of the line at required condition and the total loss so the first half of the problem statement is completed here we have now the length of the transmission line for the condition given determined here now let us have attention to make calculation for the total loss for the transmission line assuming copper conductors here so for determination of the total loss we have to make account of the attenuation constant with respect to the dielectric material and with respect to the conductive material here so therefore the attenuation with respect to the dielectric the loss is given in terms of alpha suffix d which can be computed by the use of formula we have alpha suffix d is equal to k0 into epsilon r in the bracket epsilon effective minus 1 here in multiplication to the loss tangent tan del which is divided by twice of the square root of epsilon r in the bracket epsilon r minus 1 here so this value is to be obtained in terms of neighbors per meter here so upon substitution of the k0 that we have just now calculated epsilon r readily given to us the effective value of dielectric constant we have calculated and the loss tangent that has been given in the problem statement so we obtain the value to be equal to 0 0.2 pi pi in terms of neighbors per meter now in terms of decibels per centimeter we can get it converted to the form 0 0.022 decibels per centimeter here so this is one part of the loss we can say corresponding to the dielectric material here now let us have calculation for the attenuation because of the conductive portion but as per the problem statement we have been mentioned that now the conductor is a copper material 
सो फॉर ए कॉपर मटेरियल विद ऑपरेटिंग फ्रीक्वेंसी ऑफ टेन गीगा हर्ट्स हियर वी हैव द सरफेस रेजिस्टिविटी द सरफेस रेजिस्टिविटी आर एस गिवन बाय जीरो पॉइंट जीरो टू सिक्स इन टर्म्स ऑफ ओहम्स हियर एंड द अटेन्युएशन ड्यू टू द कंडक्टर लॉस कैन बी डिनोटेड बाय अल्फा सफिक सी दैट कैन बी कॉम्प्यूटेड बाय द फॉर्मूला आर एस डिवाइडेड बाय कैपिटल जेड जीरो इन टू डब्ल्यू सो विच इज टू बी डिटर्मिन इन टर्म्स ऑफ नेपर्स पर मीटर हियर सो नाउ द आर एस वैल्यू इज दिस वन फॉर द कॉपर मटेरियल जेड जीरो इज द वैल्यू ऑफ कैरेक्टरिस्टिक इम्पिडेंस ऑलरेडी नोन एंड द वैल्यू ऑफ डब्ल्यू विथ ऑफ द स्ट्रिप्ट कंडक्टर हियर सो दिस रिजल्ट इन टू द वैल्यू ऑफ अल्फा सफिक सी इज इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट जीरो टाइम्स वन जीरो एट हियर सो दिस इज इन टर्म्स ऑफ नेपर्स पर सेंटीमीटर फर्दर इन टर्म्स ऑफ डेसीबल्स वी कैन राइट इट टू द फॉर्म जीरो पॉइंट जीरो नाइन फोर इन टर्म्स ऑफ डेसीबल्स पर सेंटीमीटर हियर सो नाउ वी हैव बोथ द अकाउंट करस्पॉन्डिंग टू द अटेन्युएशन कॉन्स्टेंट फॉर डाइलेक्ट्रिक मटेरियल एंड that of the conductive material here so taking into consideration both of them the total loss the total loss with respect to the transmission line having the copper material of conductive nature we obtain i mention here this is total loss in terms of decibels we obtain it to the value 0.101 decibels here so this is the required answer the second parameter here so this was our problem statement corresponding to the micro strip lines and with this answer now we are finished to solve this problem so we shall be continuing solving the problems based on to the micro strip line and we shall be taking the another problem problem number 2 micro strip line into the next lecture so i hope you enjoy learning the microwave engineering topics for more details and the practice of problems like this you can subscribe to ekeda channel thank you